But Worlds was just this past weekend, and let me tell y'all, bro, we got a lot to uncover. Welcome back, everybody. It's Dylan Cassidy, aka The Scholar, and I am so glad to be back, baby. There's been just so much between, you know, the game, my life, everything going on, but I am so glad to be back on camera, of course, to give you all content. And we're pushing match to Wednesday this week, so that way we can talk about Worlds today. Um, but before we do that, if you guys want any more cards, go shop with Kingslayer Cards. Use the promo code SCHOLAR. Save 5% off on that purchase. Supports me. Supports one of the best stores in the game. And most importantly, gets you cardboard. So you cannot go wrong with them. Not at all. And if you need any products, go shop with DankRitual.com. And I will say at the start of my video, please, if you guys have not yet, make sure you guys subscribe. Because I'm so close to that 1K. And let me tell you all, I am doing a massive banger of a giveaway. So... Please make sure you guys do that as I really want to give back to you all in kind of like my first year and a half of making content. Very, very appreciative of everyone though who has stuck with me this far. But kind of about me, let's talk about good old worlds. So premium was very interesting, you know? I expected to see the Katrinas. I expected to see the Eradicators. I expected to see the Highlanders and the Nubatama as, the, as my sleeper pick. But how did Fenrir and Regalia like sneak in? Um, I mean, that's the whole thing. Cool thing about Worlds is that because it's a condensed size, because it's only the people that have topped in a format, you have a less, you have a smaller Swiss cap. And so if it's someone's day, they can take it. And this is very, very impressive, um, honestly, just to see everything of what happened uh, to come down. So I will go down in order here of what topped. So what topped was Fenrir won Worlds, Regalia got second, Katrina with a third place appearance, and Stephen Lee with Victor for a fourth. Shout out WCC and playing with Victor. I will be doing a Victor deck profile later this week. Stay tuned for that. Um... Then I have Nubatama at 5th, uh, okay. We have Bermuda Triangle, so we do have the Highlander at 6th, the Katrina at 7th, and the Eradicator at 8th, just sneaking in there. So, again, I think Fenrir is a sleeper pick. Fenrir, though, has access to a lot of, like, different options. So let's actually take a peek at the list, um, and you guys will see centered on some cards. I know, like, given my overlay, um, it's not perfect but it's pretty close for you guys to be able to see. So let's take a peek here and see if they're running anything crazy. Um, nothing, nothing jumps out at me immediately. Although, yeah, no, no, so no G, so no G Fenrir. So they're not relying on the history club. We do have the Melissa, which is the kind of like disruption promo. Um, and they have the Vener, uh, the Ver Ver Veratrum, ooh, if I can talk, um, as there as well. And, and yeah, it just looks like high value, like Ampharos, of course, you still have the Marduk, um, play as well as the Vanagander, like restack line. So actually this looks pretty comfortable and pretty solid. Um, and yeah, like between the, this promo as well, like it, it, this looked like this, this worked out really well. So congratulations. Um to parody once again i want to take a peek at the um regalia list just because i know mo uh aka astral susano if you have not checked out his channel make sure to do so he is slept on and i want him to make 1k like myself um wow nothing really stands out here except for this what is this so last three choose two of your units stand them and if you stood this unit you put one card from the bottom of your deck oh so when it's revelation okay okay so this looks like some pretty interesting lines i'm not gonna lie what i what jumps out to me though is the arthen arthen is really good i would not sleep on Arthen, honestly like at all so i i just would not because uh, arthen is very solid um just being able to give your board like pseudo resist so where it's like full protection is is key even though like it turns off one of your restander columns you can go like gig column another norn in the back and you just go crazy um and yeah of course you have like the nerva lines and everything so 
Okay, this is a pretty tight list. This tech is pretty hot. Uh, again, the Vanatrum is good. I really, really uh, like the Yodun. The Yodun is one of my favorite cards for Regalia uh, by far. Um, and let's just take a peek at the Neonectar list since I am a Green Clan fan. I got to see uh, what got the worlds. We're going to see if the French ideology paid off. And it looked like a new school of thought was brought up. Okay. Uh, what I'm noticing immediately is the lack and then the four Honolly. Again, I'm not a big four Honolly fan, but also this, uh, and oh, wait, hold last one, choose a great two or greater card with it. Oh, does it, does it say normal? No. So you can actually add the heels back to G guard more. So that way you have more of your defensive lines. Oh, but I'm saying though, if you play that, then you need to put two. Oh, that's really surprising. He is not running any of the Musketeer. Any of the Musketeer G guard. That's really surprising to me. Um, Yeah, the list looks solid though. I'm gonna have to test it to see. Uh, I These are on the in the way for the mail for me, but that, that looks pretty good. Um, And last but not least, let's, let's, peep, let's peep the Victor list keep the victor list because i want to know okay so similar schools of thought very similar schools of thought already double rollock wow no elementaria is surprising and two of this is surprising i played three one split but uh yeah okay let's start I'm trying to see where our lines are different only one Doga Titan is crazy. I mean, I know you can like flip, like recycle it, but still. Um, I mean, yeah, overall, like pretty, pretty solid. I can't, I can't knock it. Like it, it works. Oh no, Asdabulk, I'm just realizing. No Asdabulk, okay. okay. Three Gunsden. I think I think Gunsden is like a mat minimum two of at most three of just because it protects your board and like resist is pretty good this format. Um I do like this though for a counter charge. Dual flare, yeah, that's a good tech. That's a good tech. Um Yeah. Okay. No, I can get behind this. I play the exact sweep of um of grade threes. Um, and I'm just going to check out the Neo Nectar list just to see if this was another French list. Not entirely sure if it wants to load. Um, okay. Oh, no, this is the exact same list as the first one. Yeah, the exact same list. This doesn't have the SGR in Verno. Okay, yep. And uh, that's, that's, that's fine by me. So there we go. There is your premium. Let's look at V. Uh, I know Gurgit got it, and wow. Oh. Hey, we all know why I'm smiling, though. Leopold got in. It didn't top. It didn't It didn't go all the way, but I told you guys, you can't sleep on Leopold. If it's a today, it high rolls like crazy. Uh, but Gurgit and Luard, like, yeah. All these decks make no sense. They're, all these decks do make sense. There's no, like, decks that, like, you see and you go, oh, I don't know. Um, Gurgit, though, taking out half of the field, you have to be looking out for this deck. Going in the future, uh, especially for tri format as you prepare for Spring Vest. Gotta respect Gurgit, bro. Gurgit's really good. The promo, their ride fixer made this deck insane. Like all these decks, um, their ride fixers, like fix them. Uh, Shadows is not out yet, but like all, all these all these seven and top cut, their ride fixers are crazy for the deck. Um, but yeah, I think Gurgit is like pretty self-explanatory in terms of like preparation. Like no Ange is kind of surprising. Like I thought like there'd been like one Ange, but yeah, you're playing the um, accelerated build with um, with the one Ezel. So that way when you ride into your Gurgit, you get um, two Excel markers. So your your columns are a little bit bigger. But again, like this is this, this is pretty staple stuff. Uh, we'll take a peek at the Luard. Of course, we're gonna take it to the Leopold, but I'm just gonna cover each of these decks one by one. Again, there's nothing that like stands out too crazily. Um, double Decromps is a little interesting. The, I know some people have completely just cut this card because they like they said they don't need it, but um, basically, this router I've never seen played. Um, gonna have to ask Crow why they played this card because I have no idea. Um, 
but yeah. Uh, let's peep. Let's peep Great Nature, then we'll peep Grand Blue. I want to see what the homie school of thought was. Oh, he's playing the gorilla build. Oh, okay. So everyone knows my reservations with the gorilla build. I think the the, the Esther Fox build is better, but I mean, of course, bro, I faded at Worlds. So I'm not gonna knock. Um, the gorilla build like is really good, like for kind of like the defensive pressure of just being able to nuke your opponent's board. So it's not bad. It's just more resource intensive, and you have to think more, and you can't be like as greedy. Um, like it's very much so like you get one turn, and then you you kind of get shut off for resource. And last but not least, Grand Blue. Shout out to uh, to my teammate Estevan who got 11th uh, in V. I'm very proud of you. Um, sorry you couldn't couldn't sneak in, but uh, you were very close, bro, and we're very proud of you. Um, for Grand Blue, because he took Night Rose. Um, yeah, and for Night Rose, this is stock. This is so stock. Like Franch, Franch. Like if you have like three CB, you get like seven attacks. Like four of them being Skull Dragon. This is pretty nutty. So that is for V. And then for standard, oh my god. What is this? What is... Oh, hero? Wait. This is why i do not a fan of standard, bro. Like, the most random stuff wins. What the heck? Like, the Leonorn and the Drajuled and the Jiva make sense. Like, these three make sense. Rip Youthberg. What is with the hero? I have no idea what this deck does. I'm so serious. I'm actually gonna click this. Cause there's there's three in top cut. That's wild. What is this? my god so yeah oh so these just get huge really fast because like what oh it's a grade two base i mean it makes sense yeah big big heavy numbers early yeah okay you get you get a rush deck in there uh you know this promo is insane i can't even i can't even flack it dude it's so good uh, and then let's talk about Shoto Doji though. I have no idea why this is here. Dude, this is crazy. I can't believe this deck won. I thought this deck was like so bad. Um, Cause I thought, I thought the snake would win if it was one of the red clans. Like Mega Little Ozuchi. Yeah, that is wild, bro. That's so cool. Alrighty, well, congratulations to you, my friend. This is, Pretty, I know this deck can like do some like good attacks and stuff and it's like it's a good sleeper pick but I never thought it would win worlds that's that's wild but hey you you can you can have a great day and you can go wild so like I'm not I'm not gonna knock anybody for playing it but that's that's crazy to me but um with that being said uh that's your world's recap man uh this is this was cool this was really cool i'm very i'm very happy to see that like worlds was good everyone that i talked to that was out at worlds was was awesome uh again shout out to all the casters i got to turn tune in for a little bit and then like i crashed went to bed uh but to wake up and see these results was absolutely like pretty wild so again uh shout out to you know like tie fighter outer, outer orange all of them that casted different fight you know the homies um because it was it was it was but again, make sure you guys go to shop with Kingslayer cards and Dank Ritual, man. They're going to get you right. Uh, and make sure that you guys, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Talk about, you know, I really want to hear what your guys' thoughts of was on Worlds this year. Um, and how uh, you guys are going to be preparing for Springfest and Triformat. Uh, but I hope you all are having a wonderful rest of your day. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. You know, it's Monday. Let's get it started, baby. And uh, I love you all. Take care. Stay